Hi class! Today we are going to be making our own shape monsters. I've made a template for you and I am going to share that with you so please click on it and download it and print it on a white piece of paper. You will also need strips of paper. You only need two. I've actually made a handful for my class. It doesn't have to be on a color paper. You can always print it on a, on a blank piece of paper and color it afterwards. I've printed my template onto construction paper so that it's easier for us to use. If you would like to keep it on a white piece of paper and color it afterwards, you can do that too. You'll need a coloring utensil, glue stick, and a scissor. And if you're ready, let's get started. So I'm looking through here to see which kind of shapes I'm going to use. There's trapezoid, there's parallelogram, there's pentagon, hexagon, squares, circles, any kind of 2D shapes because that's what we are learning in our class right now in math. I've asked them to choose a shape. It didn't matter which one. They can choose whichever they wanted and I chose this pentagon with five sides for my project. All right, once you have selected your choice of shape, we are now going to cut them. As I mentioned before, if you printed it out on a blank piece of white paper, you can color them before cutting them out, and that way you wouldn't have all those little spaces, be, and you can just cut them out right away. After you cut it out, you're gonna leave it and decide on which side is gonna to go to the top and which side is going to the bottom. With Pentagon, you can do whichever. I am gonna have my flat side on the top because I'm gonna put a hat on him later. After you do that, you are gonna need my very last page of the template that you printed out, which is just very small shapes. I'm actually using a white piece of paper and I've cut this in half for my students so that they have enough choices but we're not wasting a lot of paper. So you'll need two eyes, one nose, and one mouth. I thought it would be fun if they get to decide on the number of eyes and nose and mouth, if they, uh, but we just went with the regular ones so that it looks like a face. But if you would like to be crazy and have three-eyed monsters, why not? It's called shape monsters. And I've made it a little fun by having two different shaped eyes and a different shaped nose and a different shaped mouth. So you have to cut out four shapes in total. For my version, you can do different for yours. After I cut my nose, mouth, and my eyes, I am using a coloring utensil or any sort of writing utensil to make a hat. And of course, because it's a shape monster, they all need to remember to make it with a shape. I've made a triangular hat. And this, in case you haven't noticed, is a scrap paper that I just used to cut out my, my shape monster. So use that wisely. <laughs> all right, like I mentioned, I am gonna have the flat side on the top so that I can put my hat on. I'm just deciding and moving it around to see what would work better. I like it this way, let's go with this way. So let's start out with gluing my hat. I've told my students that they didn't need to have a hat if they didn't want to. A lot of them did and some of them were being creative and made a wand instead. And of course they made the wand in rectangular shape and not in a random zigzag lines. It's better to glue the hat on the back so that it's much neater when you see it from the front. And then you're going to color your eyes, nose, and the mouth. Some of them made a smiley face instead of just drawing two dots. Um, and then I've asked them to color in their nose and their mouth. It's always like the trick I told you before, good to have a scrap paper on the back so that um, you don't get any of the other colors on your shape monster. Let's fast forward a little because you don't need to see me coloring. I got the nose and last but not least I'm gonna get my mouth and I used a trapezoid for my mouth and it actually turned out quite well because it looks like a smiley face. Now, let's decide on where you're going to glue your, your eyes, nose, and mouth and start gluing it. 
spot. And again, it could be creative. It doesn't have to be where it normally stays. It's a monster. But I wanted to make a friendly, not so scary to children monster. So I went with where we usually have our eyes, nose, and the mouth. After you glue that on, you're almost there. We're just gonna add in a final cute little touch at the end. Um, remember the scrap papers that you need. You can always, I'm telling you that you can always use just that same paper. Or if you'd like, you can use two different colored. You're gonna need two for your arms and two for your legs. You don't need to have it that long. So you can cut it in half. And some of my students decided to have different colored arms and legs, which is completely fine. But I like to have the same colored arms and same colored legs. So I'm just looking to see which one I like better. I think I like it this way. You can just go ahead and glue it right on, or you can do what I am doing, do the fan folding, where you fold it first and flip it over, fold it again, flip it over, fold, flip, fold, and flip, fold, and that way it adds a little fun effect of almost like a 3D pop-up wiggly arms. <laughs> Again, you don't need to do this. Some of my students chose not to, but most of them found that it was fun to make it. I had to help a little. Now let's glue in the arms and the legs, same as your other features of the monster. You can glue them wherever you want. Again, it's best to glue it at the back so that it looks neater in the front. And after you glue the last leg, and there you go, there is your own shape monster. This was a super fun, easy art math combined lesson. I hope you had fun and I will see you again. Goodbye.